Hello everybody, and it's Tom with the SS Motion here today with another Call of Duty Mega Bloks review. Okay guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at one of the two new troop packs. This is set number 06875, it's for ages 10 and up, it has 147 pieces, retails for approximately between 11 to 14 pounds here in the UK, and it is of course the Jungle Troopers pack. Now this is a pack which I've been looking for for a while, so I'm glad I finally found it and I'm really excited to be bringing you guys this review. So we get five figures in a little piece of terrain. We're going to take a look at the figures first. So first up we have somebody who is wearing what I would class as a scout style uniform. As you can see here, nice gold visor paint, black tack vest. Nice knee pad detail and boots. A knife. The MP5 style submachine gun. An orange clip I've added to him. Give that a minute to focus for you guys. As well as the orange pouch there. Orange binoculars. And a burgundy coloured brownie backpack. Very similar to the one we saw in the chopper uh, set. So that's the first figure. He is a scout style figure, he's very cool, I like how he's got painted boots. Next figure we have is a pilot, and I'm really glad we've got another pilot, because it means if you bought the Ghost's helicopter, you now have a second pilot for it. Let's take a look at him. You can see green combat pants, grey leg strap, black knife, grey tactical vest, a dark grey Desert Eagle style handgun and that nice pilot head sculpt twisting around to the back just more of the same and this is a nice figure because he actually has exposed hands as you can see here and he is wearing quite a cool looking shirt so that's the pilot we will stack him up here next up we have the Trooper wearing, wearing night vision goggles, as you can see here. Move that, we can see a black scout style vest with a burgundy ammo pouch and a black clip. The Karma sort of skirt style piece that's used on some figures, which looks really cool. Nice green cargo pants, combat pants. A brown and black LMG that night vision goggle head looks very good and then a green backpack next up we have the kinda like sergeant I guess don't know what that is doing there so we'll move that back there for you guys quickly Seen here includes the nice AK 47 in green and grey, tan cap, helmet, and silver sunglasses. This is, as far as I'm aware, the same head sculpt that was included within the Light Armor Firebase set. Nice green tactical vest, two different shades of green for the torso and vest. Exposed hands again, very nice. Nice grey combat pants, grey brown with black boots, and a nice green leg strap with a grey knife. Let's give that a moment to focus. There, and then a orangey tan water canteen. And the last figure we get is the one who I would class as a standard infantryman has a nice tan head, the same one included within the Desert Troopers Battle Pack. A green and black M4 ammo pouch on his side. Nothing really on his vest. A gold concussion or uh, flashbang on this black leg strap. 
and a tan style backpack with an orange walkie talkie, an orange claymore and an orange flashlight. We'll just peg that back in quickly. So that is the final figure, the infantryman. Placing him off screen there. Now take a look at the accessories we get if we just stand him back up quickly. So apart from the accessories displayed on the figures, we only get two other ones. We get a orange entrenching tool. This is the modern design, not the classic design included in the APC. And we get a burgundy coloured suppressor, which is designed to be used on the SMG. So not too many accessories for this pack. You can't really fully outfit any of the figures with too many accessories. But it's not that bad. I mean, they're still good figures and they still look really good, regardless of possibly not having as many accessories as they could. And take a look at the display stand. We see it's in the new green colour, which the APC is moulded in. This does not match the green base plates which we have within Halo, as far as I'm aware. They are a darker shade of green. And it does have some marbling in it, some brown, some black speckles and details. It looks really good. We have a small plant built up here. A rock. A small sandbag fortification. And another small plant built up here. So that's pretty cool. You get five of this plant piece within the set. So if you're looking to build a mock and you want some of the plant pieces, this is definitely a good set to pick up for it. Not too much to say about the display stand. It can fit about three figures comfortably. Can fit five uncomfortably. And it's just quite a nice piece to have. So we will get the figures back in shot for you. One thing to note quickly. My pilot had an interesting defect where his foot peg here, I'm not sure if you can see that, has warped slightly, which means it can't be placed on pegs, so I have to use that foot. But apart from that, no real problems with this set. It is a nice set. I'm glad we've got some more of the jungle style troops because they can go with Woods and Mason and Hudson and create quite a nice special operations group unit. And overall, I feel as if this is a really good set. It's definitely worth the money you pay for it. I mean, it may be £15 when you go to buy it. This was £11 on sale. Uh, I got it at Smith's. I'd recommend you go and have a look as they've stocked the new ones. Same with the Entertainer, I believe. But apart from that, that is it for this review, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. And this has been Tom with the SS Motion signing off. I hope you guys have a great week.